my name is Matt LaCroix. I'm the marketing manager for Massey Ferguson and Heston by Massey Ferguson Hay Equipment. Today we're going to talk to you about our 2900 series round balers. The 2900 series comes in two sizes, 4x6 and 5x6. You can get an auto tie or auto cycle like I have here. The difference between auto tie and auto cycle, auto tie automatically puts mesh or twine on your belt once you reach your desired belt size. Auto cycle, as I have here, has onboard hydraulics. So not only does it do that, apply your mesh or twine, but it automatically opens the tailgate, dumps the bell, and automatically closes the tailgate for you. So you don't have to sit there and cycle your remote valve all day. Let me show you what makes this an auto cycle baler. It's the only baler in the industry with onboard hydraulics. You have your pump here, your reservoir here. So what happens is your PTO shaft runs your pump and that drives the entire system. This baler will not have all the hydraulic lines like most balers do. There's only one set of hydraulic lines and that's to raise and lower your pickup so that you don't have to turn your PTO on just to raise and lower your pickup for winter maintenance. So on our 2956 and 2956A round balers, you'll notice how wide this pickup is. It is the widest standard pickup in the industry. That's going to come in very handy when you're going around curvy windrows or going around a corner in a field. Now these gauge wheels need to be set properly. As you can see, this one spins freely. These gauge wheels are here to protect the pickup in case you come across a bump or rough terrain. They're not intended to ride on the field at all times. Optional with all 2900 series round balers is a hydraulic kicker like we have here or a spring loaded ramp. The nice feature of having this hydraulic kicker is it has positive action when it's pushing the bell away from the baler while your tailgate opens and closes. Also, it automatically breaks away. So if for some reason, the kicker comes up before the bell comes out of your chamber, you can just drive forward and it will automatically reset itself. There's no shear bolts here to have to worry about. Now, as you can see, inside all of our Heston by Massey Ferguson and Massey Ferguson round balers, we're all about simplicity. So you can see how uncluttered this whole area is. We've got large main chains and also fairly large chains for your drives and for your pickup. So you'll notice something really nice up here in this baler. Other round balers you'll see one spring and one hydraulic cylinder on each side of the baler. On the 2900 series you'll only see two hydraulic cylinders on each side. The reason we use hydraulic cylinders is because we can maintain density more accurately for a longer period of time with hydraulic cylinders than you can with springs. And over time, springs do wear out. So this here is our hydraulic declutcher. So regardless if you get a auto tie, like a 2946 or 2956, or an auto cycle, like a 2946A or 2956A, the hydraulic declutcher is standard equipment. And what this does is when you open your tailgate, it stops all of your drives, not only your pickup, but all of your rollers as well. We want to maintain that nice tension on the belts to keep them from cross-tracking if you're on the side of a hill or any other type of scenario. To set the lower maximum on your pickup, all you have to do is pull this pin. As you can see, we have a myriad of options here and you can put it wherever you need to put it. So when you lower it, it'll only go to that point. As you can see, this model is outfitted with the flotation 21 and a half tires. There's also a smaller 14L tires if that fits your operation better. Regardless if you choose the 14L or the 21 and a half flotation tires, all of our 2900 series come standard with a torsion axle suspension system. You may be familiar with the torsion axle in some tillage equipment and some trailers. We have a full length square tubing and full length rubber running all the way down the axle. And as that axle moves, whether you're going through a rough field or down the road, it'll maintain your flotation and have a smooth ride. This model has the optional mesh wrap system. And as you can see in here, this is probably the most simple mesh wrap system on the market. You have your storage mesh up here. And to load your mesh, you pull this back, lay your mesh roll right here, pull a little bit of it off, and make sure it's in contact with the rubber roller here. It does not have to be tied in a knot. You don't have to pre-feed it. You don't have to use any talcum powder. It's positive feeding action. So once those belts grab a hold to the mesh, it pulls it through. You can adjust your width here if you're using a 48 inch or a 51 inch mesh. You can also adjust with these gas shocks on both sides 
of your tensioning system here. As you can see, the right-hand side of the baler is just as simple as the left-hand side of the baler. You've got your drives here for your pickup. One good thing to point out is when you store your baler in the wintertime and during the off-season, you'll want to remove the pressure from your bell density and from your belt tension. Easily done right here. Another good feature that's optional on these balers is soft core kit. So if you're ever doing any kind of moisture at all, anything above 14% moisture, you want to put a soft core kit in there so you can make that core a little bit softer. And also, if you're doing ring, ring feeding in the field, it'll be much easier for your cows to be able to grab chunks of hay from a ring when you have a softer core. For more information and to learn about these great 2900 series round balers, please visit your local Massey Ferguson and Heston by Massey Ferguson dealer or visit MasseyFerguson.us.